How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com, connector on Wednesday, May 15th, as we get this video to you. Uh, looking forward to getting this video to you. We've uh, been a little under the weather, but back in the saddle today. Uh, we did a live show. We are supposed to do a live show at 2 o'clock. We ended up doing it at 3 o'clock with some technical difficulties, but we did get it out. And that's there for you, for YouTube Premium folks. And uh, a bunch of other people joined us on the live show, too. So, uh, so yeah, we do a live show Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights uh, at, uh, obviously, at 9 o'clock. Uh, so looking forward to doing another live show tonight with you and another live show on Thursday night with you as we get into that nice routine of Monday through Thursday. All right. So let's get you this live show here. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Uh, or not live show. Let's get you this uh, daily free play video. Indian Cowboy has been around for a cool 19 years, and uh, Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. Um, I know I look pretty young, but I've been with Doc Sports for 19 years now. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my free daily podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. Our next best selections are Free Picks and Leans, which is the daily video that you're watching right now. If you can't get enough of us, there we have a popular YouTube premium teaching channel for $20 a month, as I told you, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, where we hang out. And uh, we teach you how to do your own algorithms, and uh, you get the first look on the next day's ball games is a huge advantage. So you get 160 selections uh, all for just $20 a month, and uh, I give you a written recap uh, at the end that only YouTube Premium folks get. All right, uh, so you know, arguably one of the best deals on the internet for uh, just $20 a month. Uh, so the link to YouTube premium is in the comments section as well as the link to how to get to free $60 of the premium selections. If you want more content, hop onto our Twitter. It has our latest updates, our hot takes on sports and our popular consensus reports. All right. Your free play today. I'm going to go with, uh, let us go with, I have a total of seven free selections today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I like Dallas today in the WNBA, by the way. Um, I do need to tell you, we have a seven-unit WNBA selection at 10 o'clock today. We have a seven-unit soccer selection at 10 o'clock today. We are 4-0 and and 8-2 and with NHL selections for plus 2,000. We won our eight-unit selection recently on the Oklahoma City Thunder, which was awesome. Our seven-unit baseball selection today is winning so far with the Chicago White Sox. So you keep rooting for that. We won with the Brewers yesterday. Uh, five to four. So I hope you join us for the entire baseball season. NBA, I like the selection to Oklahoma City and Dallas. We come off that eight unit winner recently. NHL, we're on a five and zero, oh, nine and two run, plus twenty five, twenty five. So join us for the rest of the hockey season. Of course, you know about the seven unit soccer selection tonight at ten o'clock. You know about the seven unit WNBA selection tonight at ten o'clock. And there you go, MMA were plus forty eight hundred on the season. All right. So for your free play, I like the Dallas Stars today. Look, Chicago won one hundred four to ninety six. Chicago's won three in a row between these two teams so far. And finally, Dallas gets to take their frustration out of them. You know, do they get their revenge? I think they do after losing three straight to them. Um, they have solid depth. They've grown as a team. Chicago um, did well last year, of course. But you know, bear in mind that uh, Dallas has a lot of frustration. They have Sabley as well. Uh, Dallas does, and I think they're going to do very well here. Um, both these teams lost to Vegas. Chicago lost to Vegas, you know, back-to-back -back games to close out. But Dallas was a bit more impressive, and they're having they're so much more mature, and there's so much more consistency over there too, and they're younger. And I think it's a great public fade, and I think Dallas gets it done here. They played the last two games really tight against Vegas and covered those games too, if you remember. Give me Dallas minus the points here. I think Dallas is sitting around 7.5 the last time I saw it. I have them winning by 9 regardless, so... Um, yeah, I have uh, Dallas uh, minus the eight today. Yeah, so I'll take Dallas minus the eight today as your free play selection. Um, I'm seeing pretty much eights across the board. So um, as far as Cleveland and Boston in the NBA, I think Boston wins. I almost made this my free play. I think Boston wins by 20 or more. Uh, Boston lost at home last time. I think they'll be focused today. Boston is now a 3-1 to one in this series. This series could be over, right? I actually think this game probably goes under two. 109 points is a lot of output for Boston. And, um, you know, I'm sorry, 102 points is a lot of points for Boston to give up from time to time. And I think it just makes sense here for Boston that closes out. They understand the New York Indiana series is going to close out, close out soon possibly. They need some rest. And I think Boston losing at home last time is a fantastic public fade. Uh, Cleveland played inspired basketball on the road at Cleveland uh, with a lot of injuries, but I don't think that's the case here in Boston. Lean on Boston. Tampa Bay and Boston in baseball. I like Tampa Bay here. Tampa Bay's off that 4-5 to five loss to Boston. 21-22 and 22 team here. Boston's off that 5-4 to four win. They've won 3-4 coming in. Little and Chriswell here. Tampa Bay went 5 innings, 4 hits, and 
then two runs against the Yankees. They beat the Mets, three straight quality starts. Chris Well here, back-to-back -back quality starts. He had nine strikeouts in his last game. Could be in for a letdown here. I think Tampa Bay here comes off of a loss, and Liddell is doing so well in his last game, including two walks in his last game as well. It makes a lot of sense. Let me go with Tampa Bay here as my lean. Cardinals and Angels. I like the Cardinals there. St. Louis won three in a row against the Angels. Angels are on a bounce back. Do they really lose four in a row? Lynn coming off back-to-back -back quality starts. Four runs. Worst stretch run so far for him. Uh, Canning here rolls in, coming off zero runs in his last game. Great opportunity for him to do well, too. Lean on St. Louis here. I know the Angels have lost four in a row, but... You know, I don't think they lose, and they I think they lose five in a row. Two pitchers here trending on the opposite direction. Lynn is going to bounce back, and Canning's coming off as one of his best starts. Uh, and I think he has a letdown. Oakland and Houston. I'm going to go with Oakland here. I think Oakland has a lot of value here today, uh, and I have to go with the Oakland. By the way, Chicago just scored. That's exciting. But Oakland has a lot of value here for a team that's lost three in a row. They've only lost four in a row once this season. Aaron Brooks came over from the uh, Cardinals organization and the Orioles. He finally gets an opportunity to do well. And I think he does well in his first start. He's been waiting a long time for this opportunity. Framber Valdez is unbelievable. But I like the fact that uh, I don't think he puts together three straight quality starts with you, to be honest with you. Uh, he also gave up um, no home runs in his last game and two walks, and I get that. Um, but at the end of the day, I think Oakland will just play inspired baseball, and I think Brooks has been waiting a long time to, to pitch. And I like the plus the two. Uh, I think you can get him plus the one and a half or plus the two runs here. Uh, Mets, Phillies, I like the Mets plus one and a half. I think that's a lot of value here. Uh, you roll in with a Mets team that comes off getting shut out yesterday, 0-4. to four. They lost 4-5 to five before that, back-to-back -back games. They're still almost a 500 team. I know Ranger Suarez has had an unbelievable stretch run so far, but at some point he's going to have a letdown. He's got a 1.5 ERA. Every time he's given up three hits, typically typically gives up like seven hits the next game too. And then you combine that with uh, Joey Lucchesi here who rolls in. Uh, he's put together four straight wins for him against Miami, Arizona, and St. Louis. And I think it makes sense. Just or actually six straight in a row, to be honest with you. It's just a ton of value here. And then uh, so I, I, like the, uh, I like the Mets plus the one and a half. Finally, San Fran and the Dodgers. I like the San Fran plus the one and a half here. Uh, I think you get I I think you get an opportunity with Logan Webb here who comes off back to back horrible starts. Um, you know Webb gave up two runs in seven innings to Cincinnati, four runs in four innings to Philadelphia, um, you know four runs in three innings to Boston. He's had three two straight. Uh, he's had back to back non quality starts and then his last start was pretty good, but he hasn't won in three starts and uh, he went last time he faced the Dodgers he went three innings seven hits and five runs, and I think that's going to motivate him big time here for a quality effort. And I think it makes sense here to take San Fran as he has revenge. Logan Webb does. San Fran is off back-to-back -back losses. So it makes sense here. And that, my friends, is what I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the video. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.